क्लास इंटरवल इन दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द रेंज क्लास इंटरवल एंड टैली मार्क्स अ टीचर वॉन्टेड टू कीप द रेकॉर्ड ऑफ द हाइट ऑफ ट्वेंटी स्टूडेंट्स फॉर स्पोर्ट्स so he asked each student to tell their height in centimeter the height in centimeter of 20 students in a class was recorded by him as follows here we can see the least value is 120 cm and the highest value is 144 cm now the teacher wants to know in which range the measure of height belongs so to find the range for this he notes the formula as the range is the difference between the highest and the lowest values hence range of the heights of 20 students would be 144 cm minus 120 cm so we get range as 24 cm as we know that range of this data is 24 Let's group this data in five classes as 120 to 125 125 to 130 130 to 135 135 to 140 140 to 145 Here each class is known as class interval The class interval must always be of equal size Here the number of classes is neither too big not too small that is the optimum number of classes is between 5 and 10 we need to group the data in such a way that classes are divided equally in optimum number in class 120 to 125 120 is called the lower limit of the class and 125 is the upper limit of the class the difference between the upper and lower limit is called the width or size of the class interval in the above example the width of the class interval is 125 minus 120 equal to 5 by increasing the class interval we can reduce the number of classes there are two types of class intervals they are inclusive form and exclusive form let us first understand about inclusive form when the lower and the upper class limit are included in class interval while grouping then it is called as inclusive class interval for example in the first class interval 120 to 124 both the heights 120 as well as 124 are included in the second class interval 125 to 130 both the heights 125 and 130 are included and so on hence they are inclusive type of class intervals now let us understand the second type that is exclusive form when the lower limit is included but the upper limit is excluded then it is an exclusive class interval for example in the first class 120 to 125 120 is included while 125 is excluded while grouping then in 125 to 130 125 is included and 130 is excluded this type of interval are exclusive type of class intervals a tally mark is a vertical line used for marking while calculating larger data let us learn it with previous example here the height 130 cm 132 cm belongs to in class interval 130 to 135 so we have to enter two tally marks in beside column one for each value now mark the other numbers in tally columns in whichever class it belongs that is on tally for each value if five tally marks are to be made we mark four tally marks first and the fifth one across them in this way so that it represents a cluster of five tally marks to represent seven 
we use a cluster of five tally marks and then add two more tally marks beside it as shown. Finally, count the tally marks and enter number of marks as the frequency in the frequency column. Let us revise all that we have learned in the module class interval.